Hi, my name is Robert. I am going to be reviewing two items today. Those two items are a zero G uh, hose. One's going to be a hundred feet and one's going to be 50 feet. Uh, these hoses are kind of like a soft flexible hose that is very uh, lightweight and I have one hose already that is about two and a half years old. It's been exposed to weather and I'll show you pictures of that hose after two years of use. So we will now take a look at these hoses and see what the features are of these hoses and why you should consider them. Today we are going to be looking at the 0G 100 foot hose and the 50 foot hose. These hoses have five year warranties. Uh, they are 5 eighths of an inch and they are both made in the USA. Uh, they come with a five-year warranty. They are available at your local hardware stores, big box store. Uh, the 100-foot hose is $59.99 or approximately that price. And the 50-foot hose is $39.99. Today we're going to be looking at a uh, different type of hose than what normally what you would see. Many people have the rubber hoses. Uh, they're very heavy, they're prone to kinking, and you know they just don't work too well in my opinion when you try to stretch them out. They're very heavy. Uh, so this is a hose. We already have one of these already that we've had for two years. I will show a picture of that one, but we just recently are in need of some upgrades related to our hose carts. Uh, both of them failing. We have an older one that's still about 10 years old. And that's held up well. So what we'll do is we're going to take a look at both of these uh, hoses. One is 100 foot in length and one is 58. But we'll probably just concentrate on the 50 foot one itself just because it's a lot smaller. And it's really hard to believe that you get 50 or 100 feet of hose in this little box. Because uh, you know if you went to the store and you tried to pick that up, it'd be super heavy. This one, not so much. Uh, it's made in the USA. It's got a five-year warranty here. Uh, it says it's a 50% lighter weight. It's kink resist, this is resistant and easy to maneuver and store. Uh, does not retract or does not expand. Um, it also has, uh, it says engineered high-density G-force woven fibers for durability, high burst, high flow rated, Crush resistant, commercial grade aluminum coupling with brass insert to prevent corrosion. Works with nozzles, sprayers, and sprinklers, as well as hose reels. Um, says it has a durability of a vinyl hose. I, can con I will say so far it has because I have a hose that's two years old and it has been stored outdoors uh, that whole time and has been in a hose caddy or I should say a hose cart. And it has held up quite well. Uh, the hose itself has faded a little bit in color, uh, but still I don't see any rip and tear and the coupling itself do not um, leak, which is very important because, you know, there's nothing worse than going out and spraying your hose and uh, you're lifting it up in the air and next thing you know you have water running down your arm into your armpit, getting your clothes all wet. So let's take a look at the 50 foot hose and see what that looks like. I'm going to put this off this side. So when you look at this hose, alright, so let's take a look at the 50 foot hose. Um, let's just open up the box. Just got to be careful with this. It's a sharp knife. I just put it in just a little way. I don't want to slice the hose accidentally. But just enough just to cut that tape up here. So as you can see, fits in there very nicely. Let's pull one of these out. It's got a nice little plastic on the outside. This is very lightweight, as you can see. Looks like there's a brass insert in there. This appears to be like an aluminum here on the side. So that should be, be pretty um, anti-corrosive. Um, the hose itself is comes up like that. It's like it's twisted in there. So that's 50 feet 
in this little box. And when you look here, you can see on the back of this here, which is a hybrid hose that elevates the advantages of two hose, hose technologies. So, and that's the hose here. So we're going to get this one attached in just a little while. And we'll see what it looks like once we get the new uh, hose cart that we got. It's actually not a cart. It's actually going to be a wind-up thing because these hoses are so light. You're able to maneuver them around and pull them. You can pull them up and down your porch, coming across the front of your house, or up your porch or up your stairs or whatever you want to do. And it says that they're not going to mar. Um, but I know my vinyl hose, anytime I'm bringing it up around my uh, porch, my railings, um, around the post in the front, they always leave kind of a mark as you bring it around and wrap it around. Not only that, they become kinked and they're very heavy and they start to crack, they start to leak. So we'll see how this one works after we attach it. going to give a close-up of this hose here what it says on the box as you can see this here is the back here it's made in the USA zero G is the name you can buy either one of these hoses um, the 50 foot hose is approximately $40 and the 100 foot hose is about $60 you should be able to get those at any of your big box stores. I believe we purchased these at Lowe's. This hose cart is probably about three years old. It's been sitting in this location for three years. The current hose that's in it is a 50 foot zero G hose. Uh, that's always been out here. We've never brought it in even in the winter time. Uh, because in here where we live it stays it gets cold in the winter But there are periods where we can still use the hose for uh, different uses just to you know uh, Just to spray down the porch. It's very easy and light to use. I found this hose uh, Very easy to use my mother-in-law who lives with us. She's 84 years old and she does um, find this much easier to use and It's very lightweight. We're able to bring it up on the porch without scuffing and marring our railings on our porch to bring it up on the porch to spray things off or to water things. Uh, we'll be replacing the cart that it's in um, with a with a metal one uh, that was bought off Amazon and we'll take a look at that item a little later. This is my current setup in the back. I did like this hose reel while it worked. Um, it's a Suncast. It's a auto rewind powered by water. Um, it broke this last winter um, prior to freezing. Uh, we just kind of left it and I pulled it out. I wasn't able to get it rewind. I tried to do a temporary fix where we can use the hose because the handle broke. And I just stuck something there and drilled it and we were able to rewind it. But over time that failed also. Uh, so it's just time to get a new one. We want something a little more decorative for the space uh, than the current Rio. And also this hose itself. You know, that's the problem with many hoses are they are heavy and they are prone to kinking. And this did both of those. So hopefully with the Zero G hose that will solve the problem with the kinking hose and the heaviness and just clean up this space. That noise you see there is just my septic system. That's the Clearstream air pump. Uh, I have no way to turn that off. But we'll take a look at this once we install the new hose and see what the results are. So here's the Aqua Joe in place. This has a 50 foot hose on it. This is my old hose. Uh, you can see the difference here. They upgraded this part from the new hose and I'll show that upgrade in another time. But uh, here's that Gardena um, quick release. So what I'll do is shut the water off here. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of spray. Um, you can see there's a, just clicks on and off, just put that on, easy, on, off. With that again, goes on, goes off. Pretty easy, just turn the water back on, and there you go. 
pretty nice. You can leave this off. Here's a nice brass fit in. A um, little bit of shakiness to it. And that's coming from this pivot point here. Um, right here, this is coming from the pivot point. This is where that's coming from. <clears throat> where you lock that in place. Uh, so this is, I think this is a 50 foot hose. I'm not sure now if that's not the 100 foot that I bought um, here. So, uh, but we're going to wrap this around and see how it fits. This um, hose caddy was designed to hold 125 feet. So even if it is a 100 foot hose, it will fit. This is my current hose that we mainly use for the rest of the house that wraps around to the front of my yard, does my side yard. It's approximately 200 feet of hose. Oh, that's on this hose reel. Um, as you can see, it's a little weathered, but this hose cart itself, we've had this for, I want to say at least 10 years. It's been outdoors all the time, never has brought indoors, held up quite nicely, still spins well. A um, little bit of rust that's coming on the back here, but we're not going to replace that because it's still functional and it, it's great to move around the property. Uh, you know, I got five acres of land, uh, two and a half which are cleared. So we pull this out quite frequently to bring around to the front porch. Water plants, bring around the back to water plants. And occasionally we'll bring it over to that hillside and water over there if necessary, if we've had extended periods where there's no rain. One reason we want to replace this is because this hose, you know, all that feet of hose is actually quite heavy um, and becomes difficult. Not only that, when we bring it around to the front porch, it will mar your front porch, the hose itself just rubbing up the side of it. So looking for something that's much lighter weight that we're hoping that the Zero G hose will be able to solve with the weight and um, just make things a lot easier. Okay, so this is the new Tom Care hose holder that we um, installed with the Zero G 50 foot hose. Um, very lightweight woven fabric. As you can see, it's got the nice little thing here that allows you to twist it on. So that works very well to put this on to give you that added grip when you're going to put your I'm going to put this on and as you can see this here is very it turns flat when the water is out of it but once you put the pressure on the hose you'll see it firm up and as you can see now I'm grabbing it it gets pretty firm all throughout um, and again it's really nice really light I like it a lot you can see now it's a different shape now that it has water inside it but once you turn the water pressure off let the water out um, it almost becomes flat so that water pressure flattens it out and as you can see now now I can squeeze it now that the water is out of there um, quality wise with that Tom guide um, holder I would say that it's okay for these lightweight hoses but I would not put a vinyl hose, and if it was a vinyl hose, I would probably stick with 25 foot with this, just because of, you know, just because of how it moves like that, and it has those three little stakes on there. It's not super heavy duty. So I would say maybe a 25 foot um, vinyl hose, rubber hose, or these 50 foot lightweight hose would be great. Well, this is the, 100 foot hose on this hose reel went on pretty nicely as you can see uh, it was easy to wind up and when you turn the water on here just put it on you can see that will
So that's letting all the water out currently. And then I'm going to turn the pressure back on. You'll see what happens when you put pressure back on this hose. You can see it kind of swells up and moves as the water pressure builds in there. And that prevents it from kinking. And then you got a nice lightweight hose. And it's non-marring to your porch or any your deck or whatever you're pulling your hose around. And it's very lightweight. 